Hi everyone. So in the last video, we assigned the calendars to several activities. So now it's the time to create some resources and some roles. So in this particular video lecture, we'll be understanding what all are resources, what are roles, what type of resources we can assign and some details related to the resources as well as roles. So let us go back to our presentation. So this is the presentation. As you can see, every activity requires several resources like your labor, your uh, material and your plant and machinery as well as your staff. So staff and labor, we can consider them or maybe combine them in the manpower category itself. Equipment is nothing but your plant and machinery. Material is all the material that is required with respect to the activities. So as you can see, uh, every activity will require some operators, maybe some plant and machinery operators, some masons, helpers, some masons related to that specific work, carpenters, then your plumbers, electricians, MEB helpers, and so on. Similarly, you will require staff for every activity like uh, uh, this planning manager, construction manager, then some engineers for every activities, uh, different engineers for MEP works, different engineers for construction works, different engineers for finishing works. Similarly, for most of the civil activities, you will require excavators, concrete pumps for concreting, dumpers and all. Then some materials for specific activities. So this is just some example purpose. We have not covered every type of material because it will be a very detailed video. So that is why we have restricted to some specific materials, some very specific labor staff as well as equipment. So we will go back to Primavera P6 and we will execute this particular thing. First of all, we will create these resources and then we will assign these resources to those respective activities. Okay, so I uh, recommend to take a screenshot of this particular uh, slide so that you can refer while we execute this in Primavera P6. See, one thing is resources are only your staff, labor, equipment, and material. All these things are covered in the resources. What is roles? Roles is some designation. Like for example, you will assign a resource. Suppose there is one person, Mr. Ashish, he's a resource. Okay. He's a person who is a electrical engineer, or maybe he's the planning person, planning manager. Then you will assign that person as the resource, but his role will be his designation. That is Mr. Ashish will be the planning manager or the project manager. So this is the difference between the role and the resource. Resources are your people, but roles are their positions or their designations. Similarly, for labor, if we say, suppose there is one mason, whether he's skilled, whether he's unskilled, whether he's professional, so these things will be his roles. So we will restrict our roles for staff only. We will not go into depth for labor, equipment, and material. For material, I don't think so. Any specific roles will be there. Similarly, for equipment also, roles are not there. Roles are only meant for labor as well as staff. So we'll go to Primavera P6 and we will create these resources. Okay. So this is how our screen looks like as of now. So first of all, you have to create your resources. How to create your resources? There are two options. Either you can go to the tools bar and you can go to enterprise and you can go to the resources option here, uh, which you can see here. Okay. Other method is you can go to your directory bar here and you can click on resources directly from here. So this will open the resources tab in your home screen. Okay. Now you can easily see the resources tab. So you have to now create the resources. How to create the resources? Either you can uh, go to this plus option. We'll go to this plus option and we will add a resource. So first of all, to add a resource, the filter will be changed to display all resources. Right now it is displaying the current projects resources only, but we might have the resources from different projects. So it will display all the project resources on the screen. So we'll click on OK. So right now we have some other project resources. We will minimize it because it is not required. Now we will click on plus. And we will add the resource ID. Let us say it is IT building. First of all, let us uh, make the main category IT building construction resources. Okay, we'll go to next. So labor unit of measure, this and all is not required because this is the main category. We'll go to next, we'll go to next. We'll go to next and calendar. We will assign, we'll assign the calendar later on. Right now, let us keep it as maybe IT building calendar only. 
let us go to next and let us click on finish so our it building uh, main heading has been created here we'll move the arrow and we'll make it a separate thing and we'll minimize our previous created calendars because it is not required so now in it building we will add one more category of resources which is nothing but your plant and machinery so we will write it p and m okay and resource name is plant and machinery and we will click on finish okay so this is your uh, plant and machinery similarly we will add one more category here which is your it materials so this is the all the materials that will be covered inside your it building construction project materials we will click on finish okay so we will move this towards left directly under the it building we will create one more category which is your it labor or uh, i think we'll write manpower because it will also be considering the staff as well as the labor so man power and we'll click on finish and we'll move it again using this arrow so now let us make this uh, plant and machinery as the non labor category the materials as the material category and manpower as the labor category okay non labor is for plant and machinery material is for material and labor category type of resource is for all the manpower like staff will also be categorized under the labor category in primavera p6 so let us first add the materials which is the easiest part see these are the materials we need to add pcc rcc rebar aluminum foam work flooring block work woodwork plaster paint sanitary fixtures and electrical conducting i'll be showing you by adding only two examples rest of the materials you can add by yourself so for these first of all we need to decide the units of measurement and we need to add the units of measurement see pcc will be your cubic meter rcc will also be your cubic meter then rebar will be your metric ton aluminum firm work will be square meter flooring will be again square meter block work might be cubic meter so we'll take cubic meter it might be square meter also woodwork will take lump sum then plaster will take square meter paint will take square meter and these two things for map we will take at lump sum so in short we need to have only 4 to 5 units of measurement that is square meter cubic meter metric ton and lump sum that's it four, uh, four uh, units of measurement we need to add so how to create the units of measurement see might be possible that you have some pre defined units of measurement in your primavera but there can be cases where you need to create some units of measurement also so how to add the unit of measurement you need to go to this admin option in the tools bar and you need to go to this admin categories so here inside the units of measure you see already we have four units of measurement which might be predefined or maybe in some previous project we would have defined these categories so you see square meter meter cube meters metric ton this is already available so what we need to add is only lump sum category that is so we will write ls and unit is lump sum that's it so we can shift it up or shift it down as per our requirement it is not at all mandatory to do this so and that's all we'll click on close so we have created all the units of measurement that are required for all the materials for our it building project so we are in a position to add the materials so first of all we will add uh, pcc okay and the resource name is plain cement concrete we'll go to next this is a material and unit of measurement we will take as a uh, cubic meter and we'll assign it we'll go to next see here you need to assign the prices so for this you need to change the currency also so how to change the currency let us keep it as dollar right now but we will change the price so let us take the price of pcc as uh, let's say we'll take it as uh, 4000 rupees per meter cube right now let it be in dollar but we are entering the value in rupees we'll change the currency now see you need the default units per time that how many units per time is 
uh, available that means units per time is basically not meant for materials it is meant for uh, labor that how many hours labor is available or how many hours the staff is available per day so units in material is not of that significant so we will not change it as of now anyway we can make these changes later on also so phone and email address are not at all applicable so calendar is already it building calendar next next and our first resource has been created and we can see that pcc is under the materials with some default unit 12 per day which is not at all significant right now similarly we'll create maybe one more material category and uh, maybe we can take we'll go to the presentation so we'll take one category of let's say electrical conducting okay so we'll click on add and we'll write c o n d which is conducting and here the resource name is electrical conducting we'll go to next and it is material and the unit of measurement let us take it as lump sum and we'll click on select and we'll go to next and we'll uh, take the price as let us take it as 15000 rupees per lump sum we'll click on next and we'll click on finish so our second resource is also created which is electrical conducting so this is how we create the materials now moving on to the plant and machinery so now we need to create some p and m resources so let us see which two three resources i can show you to create one we will create excavator other we will create concrete pump okay so we'll click on add so first is excavator and we'll write excavator as the resource name we'll go to next so it is considered as non labor like machinery and equipment and there is no unit of measurement for it so we'll go to next the prices and all you can mention here what is the price uh, per hour uh, which is your uh, maybe you can take it depending on whether it is rented or whether it is your internal and all so let us take it as maybe five, uh, 500 rupees per hour next next and we can click on finish directly so we see the excavator under the non labor category has been created similarly we'll create concrete pump also so we will write the id as pump and resource name as concrete pump then we'll click on next then we'll click on next and we can choose the rates per hour might be we'll take 1000 rupees let it be these are some arbitrary numbers that i'm putting so we'll click on finish so we have created our two resources under the pndm category now we need to create some labor as well as some staff under the manpower so first of all we'll create laborers so maybe we'll take one example of uh mason okay we'll create one mason so m a s o n will be the resource id and resource name will be mason only we'll go to next it is labor we'll go to next and we'll choose the price per hour so let's say per hour price is rupees 100 will and we also need to set some default units per time that how many hours they will be working per day so as per our calendar they are they have to work for 10 hours per day and what is the maximum time that they can work will be like if the, if you allow overtime and all but for our case we'll restrict it to 10 hours per day only so you can give the phone number or some email address of some resources if you want but this is not required you can create the resources also roles also here whether this mason is skilled unskilled professional expert something like that but for that you need to create some roles how to create roles will be uh, discovering further only in this particular video so we'll go to next and we'll click on finish so we have created one mason now we need to create one staff okay so let us uh, create a staff as ashish so this particular person is let us say uh, construction manager okay so it's his full name we'll go to next labor we'll go to next what is his charges per hour so 
let us say it is 300 rupees and uh, time he is giving is 10 hours per day just like i told in the calendar slide of our presentation that all the resources have to work for 10 hours per day you can give his phone number you can give his email address also if you want we'll go to next you can assign the roles now this person has to be assigned a role because you cannot identify whether ashish pandey is PM, he's CM, he's engineer or what. So we need to assign the roles. So first of all, we need to create the role. So how to create the role? We'll just discover. So we'll click on finish. So you can see this person has been assigned under manpower, but we need to slide him directly under manpower. So this is how we create the resources. But now it's the time to assign role to Ashish Pandey. So for that, we will create roles. So you go to enterprise, you click on roles. So you need to add the role. So already some roles are existing, which doesn't bother much. So first role will be construction manager and the ID will be CM. So construction manager. So we have created one role. Similarly, you can create other role also if you want, like uh, let's say PM and PM is planning manager similarly you can create other roles also and we'll click on close right now so ashish pandey has to be assigned a role now so what you can do is you can go to the detailed view and you can go to this role and you can assign the role from here as construction manager so this person is construction manager now as you can see it has been displayed here also as the primary role okay similarly if you want some mason to be assigned a specific role of skilled unskilled you can create that role and you can assign from here so this is how we create the resources i hope the other resources in the presentation like uh even e2 these are all engineers you can name those engineers some arbitrary names you can give and you have to mark six engineers inside primavera p6 similarly other resources which we have not created like materials or maybe dumper and all you can create those resources yourself and you can see how it works so that's all for this video in the next video we'll be assigning these particular resources to the certain activities and also maybe in some other video we'll be calculating their cost expenses and all so that's all for this video thank you everyone goodbye